Hello there, I'm another Magento Dev. This is pretty much part three of a series of videos with regards to theming the uh, front end of Magento and using Luma theme as your base. Now we've looked at how to edit the header so far in, in the theme, in your theme, and we've looked at, in a little bit more detail, the difference between adding blocks, custom blocks, and uh, moving blocks that already exist in Luma theme and sort of the decisions made of when to do um, and why to and how to make a decision of when to do um, which one you know when to move a block or when to um, add your own um, and in this video we're gonna look in a little bit more detail at, so when, so we're going to look at how to add a module to your theme um, and specifically to the header so we'll uh, we'll jump right in So, um, we're at the stage now where we are in the header and we're going to add a block to basically the next job, we're going to customize this top bit. We're going to get rid of the default grey bar here which is called, um, I can show you because I'm removing it with a layout XML which is called header panel wrapper. So basically, I'm installing a module here which I've written, which is dead simple, um, and I use it on a lot of projects for a global notice. Um, so this basically adds a, another block um, to the section of the header where that old block uh, currently sits, currently lives. So that's not the interesting bit. The, the interesting bit is that I'm going to insert into that block automatically using a setup script some mage on um, short code. And mage on page builder, it works like any other page builder in say WordPress or, or anything where you, you can build your layout in a in an editor in like a, a you know an advanced WYSIWYG editor with drag and drop functionality and loads of different components like social components, columns, rows, text blocks, image blocks, sliders, you name it, it's in there. And then it builds that layout using shortcode. So you're able to export that exact layout using shortcode. And this is where it works really well with upgrade scripts is that you can then Add the shortcode to an upgrade script, and say you're working across a couple of developers, or working with you know working together, or a team of developers. If part of your task of building the front end theme was adding a static block to the admin, and say you know adding a global block with a message in it, and you're using the mage on page builder, then as long as you do it through a module where you can add an upgrade script, like I've done here, and you know you you call that block, it's just an extra sort of convenience that you call the block through the module as well add the code you've just created so you'd, you'd create it in the admin get it working on your local machine copy and paste the code from the admin you know static block in sort of like in html view if you like um, and then paste it into the content here the next developer that pulls your changes down the script will run because it's unlikely to have the static block already installed um, and voila you're going to get the exact same code as what one developer has created in the admin insert it automatically into um, into your install so you're going to be able to see you know it's just speedier way for you to all develop and work working teams so this is obviously we're using mage on page builder here because we want to be able to provide a page builder you know interface to our clients our merchants but you can do this with any sort of static block if you was able if you was just in the you know you just wanted to add HTML code to a static static block to be able to show a list or something in a footer or or HTML code pre-built for, for a header then it's going to do the same thing as long as you add it to the co content here it's going to add it um, it's going to add it on um, page load so let's get this installed and to install it all we need to do is um, run um, well bin magento setup upgrade however I will run um, the lot I'll, I'll basically uh, set up upgrade I'm going to compile I'm going to deploy static content I'm going to flush cache but then I've added in the bottom there I'm going to disable a couple of ca uh, three, the three the three main classes so uh, of the cache so I'm going to be able to um, refresh the front end so I'll speed this up okay we're back so let's 
let's do it. The um, the block in there with a sort of a fake phone number, you know, place holder for a phone number and a, and a little message, just separated by a pipe, nice and tidy. So that's essentially editing the core functionality in Magento through a module. You know, when to use a module, when to use a theme. That's an example of when to use a module um, for the global notice. So see you in a little while.